नमस्ते हिपैटोसेलर कार्सिनोमा और लिवर कैंसर इज फिफ्थ कॉमनेस्ट कैंसर जनरली इट इज सीन ऑन अ पेशेंट विथ अ बैकग्राउंड लिवर सिरोसिस दीज पेशेंट्स हैव क्रॉनिक लिवर डिजीज इधर बिकॉज ऑफ अ ओल्ड इन्फेक्शन ऑफ हेपेटाइटिस और दे आर क्रॉनिक एल्कोहल अब्यूजर्स लिवर कैंसर इज यूनिक बिकॉज इफ इट इज डिटेक्टेड अर्ली देर इज क्योर पॉसिबल इट्स यूनिक इन द फॉर्म दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द लिवर कैंसर दे डोंट नीड बायोप्सी a simple blood test that is a tumor marker and imaging that may comprise of ct or mri can help in the diagnosis of this disease hcc or hepatocellular carcinoma once they are diagnosed the treatment will largely depend upon the stage of the patient and also the general condition and the normally functioning liver while surgery remains the mainstay uh, that being resection or a transplant unfortunately 70 to 80% of the patients are non surgical they are not candidate for surgery and that's how non surgical management are important treatments that have to be offered depending on whether it is early or locally advanced stages because of the unique and unparalleled characteristic of proton it is so much rewarding to treat a liver cancer patient on proton not only for the physician but also for the patient and it is because of this benefit not only in the clinical outcomes and also the quality of life Now proton is a category 1 indication for treatment of these liver cancers or hepatocellular carcinomas. Like many cancers, hepatocellular carcinoma patients may present to us in locally advanced and also metastatic cases. That's how after the primary therapy, these patients will require medical oncology care not only for maintenance but also for some of the metastatic diseases. Plus many liver cancer patients are complicated by liver associated disease where a medical gastroenterologist or a hepatologist is required for completing the comprehensive care that these patients need managing hepatocellular carcinomas are challenging especially if the disease has gone beyond the confines of liver but thankfully although these patients many of these patients are inoperable these patients have disease that is limited to the liver and that is how liver directed therapies are of crucial importance In the past radiation was not considered as a standard therapy for managing liver cancers. This was because older photon techniques it was very difficult to deliver a very high dose to the liver tumor and that too it was to be done in a tumor that moves with respiration. And in doing so it is of crucial importance to save the dose that goes to the surrounding normal structures. But thanks to the modern radiation technology first stereotactic body radiotherapy which came in as a utilization in a smaller liver cancers and now proton which is a technological marvel in the modern radiation era because of the utilization of heavy particles the beam stops because of this stopping power and this physical dosimetry benefit it is possible to deliver a very high tumorocidal dose to the tumor that results in approximately 90% local control rate at 3 years and in doing so it also decreases the dose that goes to the surrounding normal liver thus there is minimal to no collateral damage because of which when we compare photon versus proton in most of the series while in photon there is deterioration of normal liver functions to the tune of 30% as seen by the deterioration of the cp or the child pook score in almost all proton series this deterioration is just 3 to 5% for reducing collateral damage and delivering high dose precisely to the abdominal region with moving targets motion mitigation is very crucial in protons we do this using uh, three strategies the first one being surface guidance using vision rt the second one with abdominal compression and the third one using 4d ct with 4d robust optimization therefore there is almost tenfold benefit of utilization of proton because of these and also the pioneering work that was done in japan sukuba and also later in western europe and american studies now radiation is being considered and especially proton as a category 1 indication for management of liver cancers and also cholangiocarcinomas now what are the patients where proton specially can be beneficial it's not only small tumors but also more importantly all large tumors irregular tumors multiple nodules in the liver and that too with irregular borders closer to the critical structures 
and especially in patients who have a background of cirrhosis where saving the dose to the normal liver is of utmost importance proton is of large benefit it can also be used as a bridge to transplant and especially for all those patients who have progressed after previous therapies like radio frequency ablation or tase and as we all know in all special cases where re radiation is indicated proton is definitely the first treatment of choice for these patients liver cancer planning on proton is very immaculate and complex yet the precise delivery and outcomes are more satisfying and rewarding both physicist and the clinician here comes the comparison of the plans created with a proton and of other modality like photons you can see this pairing happens for a normal liver the color bar shows the pairing of the liver more with the proton than in a photon other technique which clearly indicates that proton is more precise and able to spare more normal structures because of the unparalleled and unique features of proton technology it is so much rewarding not only for the physician but also for the patient to have a treatment of liver cancer on proton that is how now liver cancer or hcc is a category 1 indication for proton therapy and sol because of the quantum of benefit it brings in the outcomes and also the quality of life of a patient after treatment